What's going on guys? I hope everyone's having a great evening. I'm having a great evening because I just got off work. Uh, I put a poll in the uh, community tab about, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. It was a 10 day poll. I wanted it to run for a while, see what you guys really wanted to see. And you guys overwhelmingly said you wanted more Casio. So I've got a Casio here. We're going to unbox it, take a look, see what you get. Uh, see what this one's all about and then uh, we'll have some more stuff in the future and I'm gonna keep doing polls today We're all about wristwatches, but not this Omega this Casio All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by if you haven't subscribed I'd really appreciate it uh, it means a lot to me. I know it's sort of a hassle if you don't have a profile, but uh, it only takes a second and it really helps all these channels out. So if there's ever a channel that you really, really like, even if it's not mine, make a profile, subscribe to that channel. It really does make a difference. But on to today, um, I put a poll up. I'll show you that poll now. Um, overwhelmingly, Casio was the most wanted uh, future watch brand to feature on the channel. So that's what we're going to do today. And I picked this one up. Uh, you can get this one from the official Casio site, Casio.com. But I got this one from uh, Amazon. I will put a link in the description so you can pick one up yourself. It's uh, about $6 cheaper on uh, Amazon than it was uh, on Casio. Dot com. However, on Casio.com, you do have the option of paying for via PayPal. Uh, I don't know if you have that option on Amazon or not. But anyway, let's get into this one. This is the MVD106B-2AV. So, very short name, very easy to remember. Obviously not. Uh, many of you guys will know it as the Casio Duro. Uh, I've had a Casio Duro on the channel previously in black. I lost it mountain biking. I had changed the bracelet on it. Um, I guess the the uh, spring bar didn't get in the hole very good. And uh, well, it's gone. So I thought it was time for another. So let's do a little unboxing here. Turn it to the side. Do a little shell game here. Have this little cardboard internal. Let's remove that top. And you have your Casio Duro. Um, let's remove this. Now, let's remove this. You can see, obviously, I opted for a different color this time. This is the blue, uh, blue dial, blue bezel. Um, We'll take it outside in a minute and get a better look. But for now, let's take a look at it in the uh, um, studio here. You can see it is a quartz. You have your tick, 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 tick of the uh, second hand. But um, at the price point that it is, this is uh, you know going to be expected. This one is $74.95 on the Casio website. I believe it was $69 or $59 on Amazon. Uh, again, I'll put a link to both of those uh, in the description below. According to Casio's own website, this is inspired by the sea with your black resin band and your stainless steel blue dial and bezel. Um, for a classic look. So uh, yeah, I can see we're inspired by the sea because it's blue, but uh, quite frankly, it's a dive watch. So I would assume all dive watches are inspired by the sea, correct? Uh, three hand analog uh, display with your date window at three. Um, you do have a unidirectional bezel. Uh, this one is perfectly aligned, unlike many Seikos. Uh, 200 meter water resistance, 600 feet total of water resistance, guys. Uh, screw down crown, screw lock case back. So you do have that screw on case back um, with your, your old Marlin emblem, uh, which is really cool. 
for the Maduro. Uh, stainless steel case, three year battery life. Uh, the, the module, the uh, movement in this is their 2784 movement. It's a quartz movement. Um, total weight on this is pretty light, uh, especially on the, uh, especially on the uh, strap instead of a bracelet. Uh, this one comes in at just 92 grams, according to the site. And uh, they say the case size is a 44 millimeter case with a 48 millimeter lug to lug and a 12 millimeter thickness. Uh, I find that this measures about a 45. So I don't believe they're measuring the, uh, the crown when they're measuring the case size. So with the crown, it, it's pretty much a 45 millimeter. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head the uh, uh, the uh, lug width, so I'm going to check that. And let's take it outside and see what it looks like and maybe put it on some different straps. That was one of the first things I did when I picked up my black one. Um, and I think I'm going to change out the strap on this one here in a little bit too. But first, let's measure this uh, lug width and see what it is and uh, take it outside and see this blue in all its glory. All right guys, hopefully you can hear me. Um, it's a little windy outside today, but it is beautiful for a December, mid-December day. So I uh, definitely wanted to bring this out to show you. You can see the uh, dial and the bezel are the same color, but look a little darker. Um, due to the crystal. The crystal is a mineral crystal, so it is going to scratch. So invest in a little poly watch. I'll put a link in the description for that. Poly watch should take the scratches right out. Any issues I had with my previous version, uh, you know, poly watch took care of it uh, really readily. So um, I really like this one in blue, actually better than the black. I found the black on Amazon for under $40, so I will put a link in the description for that one. It is a great alternative if you want a more subdued look, but I really, really like this blue. Uh, the band, super comfortable, more comfortable than the Seiko uh, rubbers. This one, um, you know, I think it actually looks better on the black band than it did uh, the the black dial with the black band. It's, it's less, um, it's less inexpensive looking, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Um, these look like applied logos. They are not. They're actually pressed through. Uh, so uh, they're, they're part of the dial, right? But they they very much look like a pressed uh, or like a um, applied indice. So I really do like that. Printed logos. Um, you have a little printed trim window frame around the... Um, date window uh, evenly spaced looks really good the date is evenly spaced within the window these are all things that a lot of more expensive watches get wrong so I'm very happy with it I like the guards on the uh, the um, crown so you've got a really subdued crown guard here uh, but it protects it does its job it's a really comfortable watch at 44 or 45 millimeters with uh, 48 lug to lug, you would think it would fit quite big. And I mean, it's it's not a small watch, but uh, I have a six and three quarter wrist and you can see it actually fits pretty well. Um, so it should fit a wide range of wrists. Looking at the loom, this was from just outside for a few minutes and it's already super powerful. One thing I really, really like about the loom on these Casio Duros is the second hand. You can see it ticking away. Uh, a definite arrow shape at the end of that second hand. So definitely like the loom on these. Okay, guys, back out at it. This is what I really wanted to see. I picked this strap up forever ago on Amazon. Um, I'll try to find a link, although I don't, I don't know if one exists anymore because it's been it's been a while but i picked it up and i never really had a uh, watch for it so uh when i decided to do this casio duro review i uh, decided i'd do the blue because i thought the blue would look really good on this strap and i'm very very happy with it um the polish matches nicely uh i kind of like these rounded 
Um, these rounded keepers, this is cool. But at any rate, um, yeah, that is the uh, Casio Duro. Oh, and I meant to mention, uh, I did check the width. It is a 22 millimeter, which I should have known beforehand because uh, this strap's 22 millimeter and that's why I ordered another Duro. Since you guys wanted to see Casio, I figured why not get the best Casio dive watch out there to uh, to put on the channel. Uh, again, I've had it on the channel years ago, but it has been years. Um, still a great watch. I will be using this one on a regular basis for swimming when it becomes spring and summer again. Uh, and right now for mountain biking, hiking, that sort of thing. It's just a great watch. Yes, it has a tick, but it's a three year battery life and it's it's grab and go guys. And at under, what it was it, $75 retail and uh, cheaper than that most places, you literally cannot beat it. Uh, if you think there's a better deal out there, let me know in the comments below what watch that is. Um, till then guys, continue to let me know what you want to see in the comments below. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I do have two other channels and uh, one I just started uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, so go subscribe to that if you're into cycling and cycling related stuff. Uh, it'll have some other stuff on there too, hiking, uh, you know, video camera reviews. I've done a couple of uh, action cams, a GoPro and a Vivitar. Uh, but yeah, if you're into that sort of thing, go check it out. If not, just stay here, guys. I appreciate you a lot and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.